It's jammed. Well, I can fix that. Wait, go! Go! <laughs> And welcome back guys to Geekhead channel, my name is Crossroads and today we are starting with the Bad Bad Season 2. And if you haven't seen the Season 1 already, here's a link for the video. And now let's get to the first episode, Spoils of War. And yeah, let's go straight to the reaction. Yeah, here we go for the Season 2, Spoils of War. Straight into the episode. Okay. Go, 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 go. What the hell? Okay, they oh my god, just chilling. Is there some kind of time jump between the first and the second season? I mean, she looks a bit older. Than... Check. We've got the cargo. So we could use some firepower. Oh, she has a helmet now. Oh. <laughs> oh god. I'm okay. Hang on. Yeah, you well not really. It's a nice shot. Oh. Why is Omega hanging off the ship? <laughs> Unscheduled study break, yeah, sure. Oh, you need to go now. <laughs> oh, that's a nice shot. And oh, the theme is also so good. Yeah, it was missing the militaristic vibe wholly on the theme. It was like super heroish. Okay, back to seeds. Easy, better late than dead. I always say. And who are you? She's a friend. She's the most trustworthy pirate I know. Is it supposed <laughs> to be comforting? Trustworthy pirate. <laughs> Look alike. Your next mission. You lot are heading to the outer rim. That is Castle Serrano. The former <laughs> Serrano? Who is that? Dooku's entire war chest is up for grabs. The Empire's already started pillaging his palace. So they're going to steal stuff from Count Dooku. Really? You want to mm. really be free? Then pull off this heist and you'll have the means to disappear. No yeah, well, that's how you set up the season. You get caught fucking instantly. I know why you agreed to this mission. But we can do better things with Dooku's fortune than hide, Hunter. That's not the kind of life this kid deserves. Our lives are like this because of Omega. We should be doing more. Okay, Echo taking a stand. Omega did hear that, so... I don't know, does she hold herself accountable for what is happening to them, or...? Somehow I do not like the vibe of the whole start of the season. It's gonna be tough for them. That's the city? What happened to it? Imperial orbital bombardment. Oh, so it got freaking bombed from the orbit. God damn. That's a huge cargo transport ship. What? No way Dooku had that much of stuff on his torches was that big. They're no normal clones, okay. There's over 40 troopers down there. They should steal the entire ships. Yeah, they should steal the entire thing. being transported. We've got roving patrols. Yeah, but there's no chance Dooku's forces was that large that they have to bring three entire transport ships. <laughs> it gets lifted. Whoa. I'd say that qualifies as high value. How could all of this belong to one person? Uh, yeah. CT 8801 is not reporting in. CT 8801 report. Are you clear? Negative. We 
could use that diversion about now. On it. Transport 3, secure your cargo and prepare to launch. All squads, return to the courtyard and hold the perimeter. Oh no. Where are the others? Still in the container. Damn it, the ship's taking off. Get out of there. There. Yeah. If they're going to space, they need to get the fuck out of there. We gotta go. Go where? Jump! You need to get off that ship before it jumps to hyperspace. If we gain access to the ship's main hold, we could commandeer an escape pod. The Duco's Palace. Oh yeah. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> yeah. Is there a secret hatch? No, wait, did Dugo escape in the one episode through the floor hatch? Oh, this. They have to capture the entire fucking ship now. This is a class 4 freighter, isn't it? Yes, why? Containers on class 4 freighters are equipped with re-entry thrusters. You are correct. I am impressed. Hope they get something good in that container there about the steam. There's a lift below us. Cover me. Ah. It's jammed. Well, I can fix that. Wait, go! Go! <laughs> The cargo release. Oh, this is all the containers. When are the re entry boosters supposed to fire? I think they should have by now. Oh, if the cargo doesn't have one. Yeah, they're falling fast. Oh, God. That's the episode just cuts off, man. There's a link for the second part above my head on the card. Right here, right now, just go check it. Wow, well, that's... We're starting the season with the bang. Well, nothing really major story here, but... Damn. Like... Hunter and Wrecker stuck in... Uh, Serrano still, or... Well, everybody's stuck still in Serrano, but they're stuck in Count Dooku's castle, which we see multiple points during Clone Wars. Which is like, you know, it's... It's one of those, like fan moments you know there it's not really but it's like nice that they reuse the scene and go back there and there's a nice story on the background on it so it's great and i mean if they manage to steal even one of these like large large cargo containers they will be rich as hell which shows like how and this oh, oh, like shows how the whole cis was run like needed so much money to buy the droids and buy the ships and still beat the Republic nearly like half of the war <laughs> and keep them back, you know, and then manage to invade Coruscant or tr at least try to go suicide run for that. But it's like, that needs really much wealth. Like that's insanely amount of money that needs. And you can see like there, there was like two of these large crates in the, larger cargo container which was like stacked with like hundreds on a one transport ship and there was three of those ships and i assume there was probably more even that they took out before from you know Dooku's palace his war chest so i mean the one container like the small box that they stole uh is probably worth way 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 much way more than you could even imagine like in a star wars money because it's like how much money did Dooku have on his like vault on his like just his base you know sit sitting around so like, that's that a great backstory like I, what I love like on like I reacted to season 1 episode 14 recently and the finale also which is coming out soon and there is also great backstory with the Kami Owens and how, how it went how it's going and I wish to see that more in this season, like more, more backstory, not just like 
pointless missions and something something like Mandalorian doesn't really have our book of Boba Fett doesn't really have the something else background story you know they show that how oh, the galaxy has been doing oh, this planet has been effect, uh, affected by something and you can see like on the start the empire had uh, uh, orbital bombarded the whole Serrano village city what what was it and it was completely gone uh, and this probably happened elsewhere many times it's nice that there was some references in the live show, like there was the uh, in the Mando where, where they infiltrated the base, and there was the commander who knew about the one project where they scorched the whole entire planet, basically. Uh, that's fucking two years ago. I can't remember now, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, but th things like this, it's interesting. I really hope that they keep doing this going forward. Uh, I, I will not say anything more about the episode, I continue on the part 2 of the uh, season uh, premiere, so see you there, and until then, bye. <laughs>